right, so welcome to this three-part series by J1212 looking at the different parts of RC vehicles. So um, here we go, this is part one, this is looking at the different engine parts, the different engine components and uh, all the different things that make the RC vehicle work by where its power comes from. So here we go. Um, first thing we're going to look at is just the main engine. Alright, so um, here we go, black heat sink. Um, this is a 0.25 SH engine and you'll know what size your engine is because it'll either stay on the box or it'll stay on the side of the engine crankcase. So this is the main engine, okay? Here we've got the carburetor. The carburetor is the thing here. The air filter sits on top of the carburetor. If we remove the air filter, you can see this is the engine carburetor here with your high-speed needle tuning valve, which is always in this brass kind of tube. And uh, the low-speed needle around the other side, we won't worry about that just yet. Um, air filter, like I said, this is uh, use of this one. It's so that uh, you push it onto the carburetor and actually any air that flowing through the carburetor has to go through the engine first so uh, that keeps the carburetor nice and clean and stops any dirt flowing through there. Here we've got the engine exhaust manifold okay this is that uh, thing that causes the uh, exhaust gases to exit the engine and enter the exhaust pipe uh, so um, this is the exhaust manifold this is always held on by, held on by a spring here you can see that then that leads onto the uh, exhaust coupler this metal rubber joint that uh, the, the job of this joint is basically to stop any exhaust gases leaking uh, or escaping as they go through the exhaust. Obviously here we've got the exhaust pipe. Looking here you've got the uh, exhaust fuel line or the fuel line that uh, feeds the fuel to the engine. You can see you can just simply push that one on and pull that one off. Just a normal standard fuel line which simply pushes onto the carburetor there. The fuel line runs through the uh, fuel filter. These uh, sometimes come with the vehicle, sometimes don't. Then this one goes into the uh, outlet pipe of the exhaust. You can see that one just pulls on and off easily as well. All right, so now we've got the uh, exhaust pipe. Um, you can see um, exhaust pipe has got a back pressure line on here, which flows to the exhaust which flows to the fuel tank, sorry. So basically, a uh, small proportion of the exhaust gases will exit the fuel pipe via this pipe and back into the fuel tank, which will then push the fuel back into the carburetor. Last thing I'm gonna mention is, um, of course, here we've got the throttle linkage, which then moves the carburetor open and closes. Here we've got the bell gear and the main spur gear, and that is all we need to worry about. Okay, so that was part one of the video uh, looking at RC cars and how they work. And uh, please check out part two and part three of the video series. And uh, next ones we'll be looking at electronics and other parts of the RC Nitro vehicle. YouTube.com forward slash J2012. Bye bye.